Hey everyone, welcome to IT and Automation. Today we will be installing Rocky Linux version 9.4, which is a powerful and stable server operating system on our Mac using VMware Fusion. Whether you are a seasoned Linux user or just starting, this video will guide you through the process step by step. Before I start, if you haven't seen our Linux tutorial 4, where we have explained step by step guide for installing Debian 12 using VMware Fusion, then please check the link above. So to begin, head over to the official Rocky Linux website, rockylinux.org. Click on Downloads. Choose the architecture that matches your needs. I'm using ARM64 and I'm going to download minimal ISO file, but you can download uh, DVD ISO or boot ISO. Once your download is completed, open VMware Fusion, click on File, New. Drag the downloaded Rocky Linux 9 ISO file you have downloaded earlier. Here you can allocate resources to your virtual machine. VMware Fusion recommends a minimum of 2 CPU cores, 2 GB of RAM and 20 GB of disk space which you can see in the screen. You can also adjust this based on your system's capabilities and your desired uses for Rocky Linux. Click customize settings if you want to change the default virtual machine settings. Otherwise, click finish. Give your virtual machine a recognizable name and choose a location to store it. Click save. Once you save it, VMware Fusion will automatically open the installation windows. If not, then click play to power it on. Select install Rocky Linux 9.4 and hit enter. The Rocky Linux installer will boot. Choose your preferred language and keyboard layout, then click continue. In the installation summary screen, you can review the configuration options. We'll focus on the key ones. Select software selection. Since I have used minimal ISO here, so it only have few options available here. But if you have used DVD ISO or boot ISO, then you might see other options here too. Choose your installation type. Server with GUI provides a graphical desktop environment, while minimal install is a text-based installation for experienced users. I will just choose minimal install for this demo and click on done. Installation destination. Select the disk where Rocky Linux will be installed. It should be pre-selected by default. Click done. Under user settings, set a strong root password. This is the administrator account for the system or you can create any other user as an administrator. To create user account, click on user creation. Give the details here, click done. As you can see begin installation is still disabled as we haven't set up an administrator account. So one thing to note here is either you have to set up a root account or you can make a new user as an administrator. I don't want to set up a root account here so I will make the user created previously as an administrator. To do that click on user creation again. Make sure you check on make this user administrator and hit done again. Now you can see that begin installation is enabled. Give you the installation summary and click begin installation. The installation process will take some time. Whilst the installation process begins I wanted to share one tip here on VMware Fusion. That is while you click on VMware Fusion virtual machine, your mouse cursor will disappear and you won't be able to use the mouse out of the running virtual machine screen. So you can press Ctrl plus command on your keyboard to release it. Once the installation is complete, the virtual machine will prompt you to reboot. Click reboot system. Please note that it might take few minutes to reboot the virtual machine for the first time. Upon reaching the login screen, Login with the user account and password you created during installation. Type the command cat hcos release to check about the operating system. As you can see here, uh, name Rocky Linux version 9.4 and many other information about this operating system. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Rocky Linux 9 using VMware Fusion on your Mac. 
Thanks for joining this tutorial. If you found this tutorial useful, then please don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming Linux tutorials.